Greetings, listeners. I am your host and game master this evening, Zach Barrett. You are about to listen to this Twisted Gear Studios production of The Legend of Zingdong in collaboration with MacGuffin Media and the team behind Nerdvana the Web Series. All episodes of Nerdvana the Web Series are now live on Telesoptic TV as well as Telus's YouTube channel. Since our last meeting, our soundboard had a fault and some lower quality audio is to be expected. Please pardon our rust. Last we left our heroes, having recently slain a shadow of Borgia in the Northern Temple, our adventurers promised the Elementress of Fire to gather five elemental stones. To hasten their journey, they head for the air capital of Artaka to acquire an airship. On the river journey there, their boat is attacked and is currently being raised into the sky. We start today with you guys going through. The rain is getting thicker and heavier as you are raised up higher and higher over the river. Um, The last surviving assailant that had boarded your ship has, as soon as he tied that rope, began climbing up the rope and out of there. And you were all kind of going up in this this rickety, rockety ride and uh, catering through. I'd like to start off the session... By everybody rolling reflex saving throws, please. Sorry, not reflex saving. Dexterity saving throws. Dexterity saving throws. Okay, since you changed it, I'm going to roll again. Oh, you need dice? Well. 16. Can I borrow your dice? I need dice. What? You need some? I found some. Never mind. Those are mine, though. Okay. Those are just mine. <laughs> how, about, how about these ones, Tito? <laughs> the watchers. <laughs> the whole, the whole set. Of what are those? Well, they're mine. Nice. For you. Yeah. Whole you can set. give Matt back his set. Yeah. Yeah. been preparing this whole time. And you didn't have dice. Yeah, a, I have some at home. I just haven't. Just, 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 <laughs> no, I mean in sets. front of you. Okay, okay. okay ready? Just in case. Yeah, everybody, roll a dexterity. Yeah. Sweet saving throw. Where's All right, name? and with that, uh, Mike, what you got? Sixteen. Six, Sixteen. Yes. Okay, that makes much more sense. Matt, I got a natural twenty on that. Ooh. Yeah, that got an eight. Ooh. Seven. So add my dexterity or just saving dexterity saving throw? Sa- saving throw. Saving throw? Yep. Oh, so that's oh the- wait, I lied. So I got 22. Okay. Then 22. I got 10. And I got 9. There we go. Nice. All right. Um, so all of you seem to, to do just fine in the, in the ricketiness of the boat now being in the air and being lofted by two rather uh, thick and mm. strong ropes. Um, the only one of you that seems to have a bit of an issue is Ashlyn. As you're brought up, you slip a... You, your foot finds... A uh, pool of water that's on the deck, and you have a bit of a stumble, and you're now considered prone. No injuries, you're just now considered prone. Okay. Um, as you guys raise up. Thanks for that. You're just welcome. Um, for that natural 20, I'll think of something. Okay. Oh. Depending on what your next action is, I okay. might give you advantage. All so right. we'll see. Um, so, as you guys continue to be raised up, is there anything uh, that you wish to do? Looking, just as a quick reference, when you look down, you can no longer see. Uh, the river, the ropes are raising up relatively quickly. So we're like past the, gla- the cloud? Sphere. It was getting really stormy, so oh, you yeah. could be just, I don't know, 40, 50 feet up. Mm. You could be 100 to 200 feet up. It's hard to tell at this point. What if I mean, know? guys, I, I think... I think we're going about this the wrong way. Like we wanted an airship. I think we oh, should. Yeah. I think we I think should have played this right. <laughs> yeah. I think we should have got a bigger boat so I we think, didn't go I, up here. I think Ash should probably calm the two horses that are now really out of their element, and yeah. I'm going to start climbing the rope. I think you care fine. about the birds and the bees. They're They're fine. Fine. The thing um, between your knees. So we're all we're all just on the deck of the ship that's being no, pulled up in no, the we're sky. Not. We're all just on the deck. You guys are all on the deck because you were okay. all fighting. Yeah, it's wet. Be careful. Right. Yeah, they're done. As and you, so you started climbing up the I'm rope I'm going to climb the rope, okay. yeah. All right. um, so how many ropes are currently tied to Two. the ship? Two. Two? Wow, yeah. these are strong ropes. They are rather... <laughs> they're they're thick enough that you are able to... Like, that person can climb up and down, no problem. Uh, two of them were enough to, to lift this boat. Um, and as Mikhail jumps on one and starts pulling himself up, fell to bees, uh, roll me a strength check real quick. He's so powerful. Eight. <laughs> it's a... It's a... It's been a long fight. You grab the <laughs> rope, and as you kind of go with your second hand to step up, it slips, and you kind of slide. You know those those pictures, the videos of the squirrels trying to go up and yeah. steal bird food. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Just slips like, on down, back on the deck you go. Yeah, just spray it with uh, with that. Uh, yeah, that oil. Cooking stuff. oil. Yeah. yeah. Um, 
doesn't take long before the black shadowy shape that is above you guys that the rope seem to be descending from is now in intent like is now very much in view and there it is a significantly larger boat yours is like a like a large like fishing boat. barge yeah it's like imagine a fishing boat but it can fit six people and, and two horses mm. with like a little cabin on the back this boat is large enough that there is a compartment that is open to the base large enough that these two ropes are pulling your entire boat inside the bowels of this larger airship. And as you're brought up into the into the hold of the ship, the, your ropes are tightened up, they're taut, the, sh- the boat ceases to move upwards, and looking around, there's this railing that kind of goes around, in preparation for there to be something in this bay that you've been pulled up to, and a series of other well-armed individuals are now up on this railing, pointing crossbows down at a lot of you. Count about 15 individuals looking down at you. Um, uh, Bard, why don't you use your, your can, sweet sweet songs and try and, and, try and uh, figure out what the hell we've got ourselves into. Here, I'll pull up my shield and stand in the doorway and you guys can fire arrows from behind me. Okay, for, first of all, I, I don't cast spells on people. <laughs> no, I, I just said use your sweet you're, words and find out so what the hell is going though. on. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, do any of you guys know who the captain of this vessel, this fine vessel is? We would uh, we would like... Wait, hang on. We would like to parlay. Oh, that's oh, that's a thing you guys yeah. know, right? Yeah. Parlay? We like to parlay. Dear God, please, <laughs> please, uh, like please know parlay. what that means. I like, I like yeah. to parlay. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so uh, Tina, you step on out and you, you, you yeah. hands up parlay. Yeah, parlay. <laughs> uh, you notice that a couple, none of them lower their weapons towards you, but a couple of them kind of look at each other and look around being like, this, whis- you know, subtle whispers. And uh, one <laughs> Is of them this dude for real? <laughs> raises, a, 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 one of the larger crossbows raises up, and this uh, tall man looks down at you and goes, Well, uh,. I may not be the captain, but if it is the captain you wish to speak to, I can certainly make this happen for you. Oh, good. He's seen Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> Are there any <laughs> prophecies that have anything to... Like, in your in your people's <laughs> history... Subtle. Are there any prophecies whatsoever that have to do with, like, a group of, like, you know, five people uh, on a river? Uh, well, if I believed in prophecies, I would be working more in a chapel than on an airship, yes? Practical people. Okay. That's yes. okay. I like Good his know. voice. Mm. Do you have any use for five days' worth of fish? <laughs> Actually, four. They're if in you a have position five days' worth can... of fish, uh, judging from the fact that I have about 14 different armed weapons pointed at you, a couple of ropes tied to your boat, I would say that those five days of fish are already my five days of fish. I was, I was going to make I... the same argument as much as I don't like to admit it. Um... But let's talk. Yeah. Let's, let's, you know, let's have a... Is there any a... way we can get out of... Can, can we stay alive somehow? I am all for talking, but uh, but if I take you off of that ship, I will need you to leave all of your personal belongings there if you were to come aboard mine. My, that's a fine accent. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, what I, do you want with us? How? But, uh, but darling, is another parent? Uh, Everything. We are pirates. Yeah. So you just want our stuff. That kind of goes with the uh, territory, yes. This directly opposes your yeah. beliefs and <laughs> everything. This is not what I like at all. <laughs> um, it, I mean, how, how does one become a pirate like you? Can I back into the cabin now? Well, before I continue this conversation any further with, again, 15 uh, well-armed <laughs> individuals pointing crossbows at you, uh, you leave your all of my items on your deck and come aboard. We can have this conversation in a... Much more pleasant than that. I'll come, but this bird, like, if I try to take it off my head, it'll, like, try scratch my eyes out. So can I keep the bird on I my head? do not see birds as objects. You okay. can bring the bird with cool. you. I cool. take everything oh, but cool. my my thong off. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. So do what you will. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he, he nods and kind of, he smiles and kind of nods. He's like, I appreciate the, uh, the, the practical <laughs> this you took of my words. I, uh... 
I'm not going to tell you to correct this. This is fine. I really love so this. So he guy wants us to be keeping our weapons behind too, I'm guessing. I'll be keeping my robes uh, Especially on. the weapons. Uh, right. I mean, if they're good, I'll keep them. If they're not good, uh, don't bring them anyway. Okay. Are are the are the guards that are uh, not quite aiming at us but still on oh, they're standby? All, the only one not aiming at you is the man currently speaking. Oh, okay. To okay. You. Um are they all in a line or are we surrounded? From above, so the, uh, the 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 physical framing of how this is built is the. It looks like this ship has um, that this particular hold that you're in would house a boat of its own that it could just drop, and that there's a rectangular railing like a gantry that goes all the way around where you are, with a couple of points where it looks like portable staircases can be connected to reach down to where you guys are and it's all around the rectangle completely surrounding you guys where there are people they have the high ground mm. they do have the literal high ground um, can I, no can I no uh, attempt to conceal a sword in my, in my boot I'm too ugly would you like to in your boot I mean I did roll a 20 just just remember yeah, just yeah, remember. yeah fair yeah. enough uh, roll for me uh, <laughs> yeah I would say roll a another twenty stealth check with advantage. I'll give you advantage because of your natural twenty from earlier. Oh. All right. All right. I, oh. I have good... I'll say that the natural twenty was you kind of planning ahead and yeah. stashing Preparing that myself. before you even got yeah. into the hole. All right, sweet. So you roll it twice and take the higher. Uh, oh, I take the higher. All right, so fifteen plus four, so nineteen. Nineteen. Yeah. Okay, so you have stashed a, a dagger upon your person. I would. I, oh, sorry. I would like to uh, try and stash my blow dart gun and twenty four darts upon right. my person. Uh, also, oh. roll uh, a stealth check. Not a, not with advantage because you are Naturally. already in the hole. Naturally. Hold. Um, this is using the expertise of sleight of hand, if that helps at all. Unless, uh, unless that's a specific that's a move. Little bit, slate of hand is if you're going to either perform a trick or s- steal something from another person. Okay. Stealth is is yep. either to hide yourself or objects upon your person. Okay. Okay. So uh, so eight. Eight? Yeah. Okay. All right. Anyone else wishing to try and hide something? Um, no. Well, um, I, I mean, really, don't know where I you're going to hide hint. something. Hang on. I take the hint, and I... I Seductively bend over to get my clothes back oh on. Oh my god! Remember, I am wearing a thong. Yeah. <laughs> so, so he's getting both cheeks as yeah. I'm putting my clothes back on. But then I also grab my loot and I say, "Surely you can't consider this a weapon." <laughs> he he <laughs> looks at you and he goes, uh, I, "I, I, just, just so that you're aware, this is not my first rodeo. This is not the. You are not the first. Uh, I assume with the loot you perform professionally." Well, I mean, I am. I have been called the songbird of my time. Ah, yes, yes. And and I heard something about uh, your friend asking you to cast spells. My friend's simple, but <laughs> fine. Yes, yes. <laughs> I, I, I have met the I have met the bard before. Thank All you. right, you're smarter than I am. <laughs> I am. I am pretty simple. Are you into bigger girls? Like, what are we? What are we <laughs> here? Uh, let us put it this way: while you are in the cargo hold and you are my prisoner, any port uh, will do in a count. storm. Oh, and oh it's boy. one way or the other. Well, all right. Uh, Mikhail, Dude, uh, I'm, stash your, your... I'm I'm not getting off the boat. I'm I'm heading towards the hole. The uh, of the cabin. Back in my way towards the cabin. <laughs> oh, so you're staying on the boat? <laughs> yep. And so he calls out to you, so uh, are you wishing to, you're not coming aboard? No, nah, I'm staying on the keeping boat. keeping all of your items with you? Yeah. That's... <laughs> I hope this will not be an issue when uh, some of my colleagues aboard your vessel and uh, start collecting items. Well, shouldn't be. No. Oh, I stuff the fish in my mouth. <laughs> Take take five. For, take take uh, roll a d four and add one. Okay. It's, a it's like a Skyrim. Do you actually just like cheese. throws a, a fish? And there's like a tail kind of poking out. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, as long as the fish is in your mouth and you're not eating it, you have disadvantage on any like bluff, deception, any of that stuff. Mm-hmm. All right. So uh, he kind of once he washes you all stash your stuff he just makes a <laughs> uh, a slight nod with his head and two addition to one guard on either side of him that have their crossbows kind of point them up and go down uh, they bring out like one of those portable staircases I mentioned they hook it onto the deck and lower it onto the deck so of your cool. ship itself. I mean so cool and uh, they come on down again both crossbows up as they come down the stairs to each of you and they start patting down each of you before bringing you on board I look at I look at uh, Tatus and and do the eyebrows. Them eyebrows. <laughs> They're patting you down, homie. 
Yeah, this is your time to shine. You like it? <laughs> I do. What did you roll in your stealth check, uh, man? Nineteen. Nineteen. Okay. I also they look at. They pat you down, and they they kind of stop patting you down. They nod. And they move on. Hmm. Uh, and Stephanie, you roll an eight. Mm-hmm. They pat you down, and they look at you, and they look back, and they nod. And they do not take Ooh. your bow dart from you. <laughs> I look at Steve with my fish tail six, sticking out of my six mouth. Six is lower than an eight. <laughs> and I wink. <laughs> Holy shit, dude! Really bad. I wink. It was almost an eighteen. Then I hit the my little iPad. And huh? Four. Nice. Steve's hot right. tonight. Yeah, man. I wink at Steve with the little fish tail sticking out of my mouth. <laughs> it's really not appealing. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, you know for a fact the fish is dead, Steve but the fish is moving, it's like the tail is moving, and it just looks kind of weird. Like it's not alive. very effective. No. no. One of the guards, when they come and pat you down, they, they, when they finish, instead of just nodding at you, they go, uh, right, and uh, weird, and leaves. <laughs> you have successfully made a guard uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> well, I he guess with this, this. Uh, everyone but your lovely armored friends uh, may come with me, and we can have a bit of a discussion about your uh, effects, which are now, of course, mine. Can we have this guy's name? Perlu. No. What is your name? It is Shakto. What is your quest? Shakto. Shakto. Yes. Shakto. Shakto. Oh, so, uh, one that's at the time, name. please, in a single line fashion, follow me up to the deck cabin. And he turns and walks away, and uh, f- of the fifteen. Uh, who are you guys all going to comply in single file leave except Mikhail? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Yes. As you guys go and leave, uh, two guards will lead your guys' uh, dance train, and two guards will trail your guys' dance train. The other 11 are going to stay behind uh, and watch Mikhail because you are worthy of 11 guards <laughs> armed and ready for you just in case. Yeah. <laughs> and so uh, officially we've split the party. And we'll be jumping back and forth between the two, uh, two nice. goings on. Because as the four leave and uh, escort you guys, uh, an additional two are going to begin boarding who's, the boat. And we'll deal with your interaction. Who's behind me? Uh, yeah, sure. Marching order. What's your guys' marching order? Who's first? Uh, I'll go first. No one's on first. What's on second? I'll who's go second. Tidus is second. Uh, I don't know who's on third. I'll be third because he would probably go behind me. Yep. Sounds good. All right. So our marching order is no one, Tidus. Ashlyn and Stephane, fantastic with Mikhail staying behind as people uh, scour your guys' boat. <laughs> I I, uh, I asked no one, um, did did he say he was the captain or wasn't the captain? He said he was a captain-like figure. But I don't think they have a captain on this ship. Interesting. They may be free, you know? You just, you just want ships and you go get them. Okay. I think that's what they're like. Do you know of these people? Do you know anything? I uh, personally... Uh, I'm very, as, as you know, very much against people who just take things. Uh, <laughs> so I don't know why I would know any of any of these people. Oh my god! Yeah, um, no, no one related to me. That's for sure. We're walking and talking, right? Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, I'm okay. assuming that's the case. Did, um, I I, uh, I turn back to Ash Ashlyn. Like, how's that fish tasting? Mmm, gross. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, as you guys are progressing through the boat. Um, it, it, it does look like the inside of a boat. Uh, any character? Any of you guys have like a like a history of sailing, being on out on the seas? I didn't think I saw that in any of you guys' uh, stories. I mean, I was a slave. I don't. But uh, what? No, no, I don't. No. no. Okay. So I it's, don't know it's, where I, where I come from. Yeah, that's true. So being on a relatively small boat just moments ago, uh, this looks made of wood. There's a lot more steel elements to this vessel's construction than uh, than on yours. Uh, as you guys are progressing through, you see that there are two other um, like like pod ports similar to the one that your boat is currently held in. Uh, one has, um, and it seems that this boat is really long. It's long enough that the base of it has three distinctly different ports of entry where they can pull boats up into. Yours is in the central one. You don't see what's in the one towards the aft of the ship as you guys are being carted towards the bow of the ship. Uh, but in that port, before you hit the staircase, it leads up to the rest of the, the upper portions of the vessel. You see that there is another uh, smaller boat in there. However, this one seems to have um, like kind of like a imagine a bat wing where it's got like the joints in and amongst the bones. Uh, a sail that is kind of constructed similar to that of a bat wing where it is collapsed, but when it's folded up, 
Uh, mm. Seems to have a lot of articulation. Cool. Um, and a lot of brass accenting. Uh, but a ton of, like, weapons. It seems to be some kind of an, an, a, like a small attack-ish vessel. Um, fortunately, they didn't have to use on you. Hmm. And you guys progress forward up the stairs. Um, there is a second floor that you guys kind of briefly pass as the stairs kind of continue up. Uh, if anyone wishes to kind of inspect this floor, you can do so now with a roll to see how much information you inspect. get. Absolutely. All right. So everybody grow a quick perception oh. check. Oh, 20. Natural 20. Natural 20 again. Okay. 19. 19. Perception. I'm on fire already. Where the heck is that? Ash- Ashley, would you? Ashley oh, yeah. banged her head off the wall. I did. <laughs> <laughs> it's the favorite. 11. 11? Okay, so as you guys are going up the stairs, um, if I recall, oh, okay, so for... <laughs> That's a bulkhead. Uh, Stefane and Titus, what you guys kind of see is that this seems to be where the majority of the living space is, um, and the galley, and there are other crew members that you see here that uh, acknowledge your presence visually as they look at you guys and then keep going about their business. Um, What's in the galley to drink? You don't quite. See, you just see that there is a galley and that there's some steam. That something is currently being made, but beyond that, the specifics you can't quite oh, tell. Could really, go some... for something warm to drink right now. So uh, parched. <laughs> no one. You can tell that. Yeah, there's a bunch of these things. There's some hammocks on the side, which gives you the impression of a living space. Um, you do see that there is a pot of tea oh. on the go. <laughs> still warm. I can tell it's still warm. Yeah, mm. but around the back of the galley, you do see for an instance that someone has is closing a gate, and it, you get the feeling that there are also jail cells in a compartment further back down, uh, down the hall itself. This whole area, it's, you imagine like a, like a like a giant loft where before you move in, there's nothing in it, and then when you move in, you kind of put your own walls up. Yep. It seems like this entire floor was once blank, and they haven't quite finished putting up all the different compartments. Either haven't finished or chose not to put those. Oh, in. I could I could do so much with this room, guys. And it's... some throw pillows for orgies. You don't see it. Do I, like you some HGTV it. action? Oh, you don't see what I'm seeing. Oh, sorry. Uh, Ashlyn, however, you see none of this. As what you see instead is uh, you, you miss one of the steps trying to look and you slip and you smack face first into the stairs and uh, Stefane, and one of the reasons why you can't see further into the galley is that you <laughs> kind of help her up as she's in front of you. The two guards are like, still haven't gotten off of your sea legs yet. And they nudge <laughs> you with the crossbows and force you back up the stairs. Wait, wait. You guys call the air the sea? I'm sorry. I'm just. This is. This is just <laughs> no, got to be a major were on misunderstanding. The water like two minutes ago. He said off your sea legs. You're not mm. off your sea legs yet. Got to get your air legs. Wiggle, it's wiggle. still funny if I have to explain the joke. Keep moving. I wiggle the fish tail. The president snap. Out my mouth. You watch as one of the guards goes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> good. Mm. Good. Uh, you guys continue on to the top deck, and uh, on the surface of the boat itself, it seems that there's only really the two main floors to this before you reach the actual deck itself. Uh, up top, the, the lightning storm is in full effect. You can see, you know, the branches of lightning striking right from outside. Not striking uh, the deck, however, you do see that they're the masts themselves. They do have... Um, the bars that would extend out to create sails, but they have uh, brass lining, and they seem to be attracting the lightning bolts to the mass themselves, keeping it from the deck. Ingenious. That must be how they power this thing. Huh. Da, 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 da. Hybrid. And a lot of yeah. people are... It's, 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 a, it's a Ford hybrid. <laughs> do they, do they run off of the storm, or do they generate the storm to, oh. to conceal themselves? Only someone question. knew how to explain this to us. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Some sort of captain. And uh, <laughs> as you guys progress forward... Mikhail, you're down on the deck... There are two guards. One, uh, there's, there's four guards. Two of them are still pointing their weapons at you, but two of them seem to be going through everyone's stuff. Is there anything you wish to do? No, I like, I would like to get into the cabin at some point. Like you're in you know, your guys' cabin? Yeah. Oh yeah, you're, like, you're, you, there's no reason why you can't be in your cabin. Oh, well then they can't shoot crossbows at me from the railing. <laughs> no, yeah, so you've only got the two guards pointing at you, but there's two others that just, they have their weapons with them, but they're going through your guys' stuff. But then there's like seven more, right? Outside, outside, outside of the deck. cabin in the gantries looking on the deck. Yeah, there's seven more. Okay. Correct. Don't do it, Mikhail. <laughs> <laughs> we just come uh, back yeah. to like a bunch of bodies. I'm, I'm fine. Uh, just for the humor me, roll an intimidation check. 
almost. Yeah, I'm not very intimidating. Oh, what'd you get? <laughs> Four. Four. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, they, they're they just kind of looking at you, wondering why you're still here and going through stuff. They don't seem to be taking anything yet. They're just making taking note of... Seems to be kind of doing inventory. <laughs> All right. The rest of you... You guys continue on the end of the deck, and once you reach the top, you are then taken towards the after the ship. Similar, like imagine one of those old-fashioned boats that the back of the ship has the the upper portion where it has the actual wheel itself that steers, and the cabin inside itself. Uh, Shakto goes up in front and he opens the cabin door, and before he motions for you guys to come in, he goes, "Now uh, you must understand as guests of this boat, and being as safe as conceivably possible, I would like to." Um, Ask that, as a show of faith, if you could please put these on. And he hands shackles to each and every one of you. Do any of you actually put your shackles on? I'll do it. So no. Ashlyn just, no one does not? No. I look I look at, I look at Stephane again and I wink again. Does this inspire you, Stephane, to put on shackles? Mm, yes. Yes. Kinky. <laughs> shackles on. Um, I look at Jacques Toe. I'm like, is this really necessary? It is. If you want to put me in shackles, you just... Let's <laughs> he, just go inside, me and you. Yeah. He, he brings his own. I mean, that's probably <laughs> with his stuff on our boat, but I'm just yes, saying. Yes, however, mine have... I have my own keys for these, and yours, I assume you have your own key? Oh, I see. You're a <laughs> He threw it away years ago. <laughs> You're a dumb. All right. I, I, wait, hang on. No, okay. I put on the shackles, but I make sure that I put them on like, like front, now. not back. He okay. doesn't like yeah, in front, in front, in, in front, front seats. He doesn't seem to you care. Uh, What's uh? What is my taut distance on this? <laughs> what? Oh like God. a regular pair of handcuffs, so like oh, six inches. Oh, like, shit. <laughs> Remember, harder is a bad safe word. And so, no one, you do not put yours on. Yeah, but I want to talk to him. Um, I want to speak in thieves' Kent, and I want to ask him. What his intentions are with us. All right. So fun. Uh, one of the fun things I can do with Thieves Cant in games that I run is that uh, I treat it less of like an extra language and more like um, if you go into a bar and someone's speaking like Thieves Cant. Street sense? Sort of like that, but if, like, you know, it's one of those fun little things. Imagine all of the conversations that happen non verbally in, in, in John Wick. That's yeah. what I think of Thieves Can't, right? Okay. So it's like you, you make certain hand gestures that are very sly and subtle mm-hmm. in, in, a, in a gesture of uh, what are your intentions. And you see his eyebrow raise, and he responds in Thieves Can't as well uh, that uh, business is business. We'll find out soon. Hmm. And he looks at you, and he doesn't allow the line to proceed, and he looks at you with the shackles, and he asks, please? Okay. I'll, and you I'll, do. Put, I'll put the shackles. And uh, you seem kind of relaxed, but he goes, I appreciate your uh, your courtesy. Please, come in. And he, he only brings two of the guards in, and two of them stay outside on the door, and you are welcomed into the cabin. Uh, into the cabin itself, it's nice and warm. There's lanterns everywhere. Uh, it's There's the big table in the center and the nice ornate chair. And no one else in the cabin. You watch as Jacques Toe goes and sits right in the chair. And he kicks his legs up onto the table. All right. So, you said you wished to speak to the captain? Obviously, I cannot uh, advertise while you have access to your weapons that I am the one leading the ship. But now that you are unarmed and also restrained, I feel much more confident in uh, letting you know of my true position on the ship. Hmm. Okay. Are you aware of the Hoglin attacks that are happening in airships right now? I am acutely aware. It is uh, why we are a little bit more cautious about the jobs we wish to take on. We Jobs? Yes. Jobs. Mm-hmm. Airship travel is quite a lucrative business. Mm-hmm. So, myself. so, are you saying that this is good for business or bad for business? The airships being destroyed, very bad for business. So, you've you've literally just stopped us from a quest to try to stop these hogland attacks. Oh, have I now? Yeah, and while I appreciate that you are a man of business and you're trying to make a lucrative trade, as you will find from our cabin, our our ship, we are not rich people. 
we're on a humble quest, and we 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 too want to get rid of these hoglins. Is there any way that we can parlay safe passage to get our own airship so that we can continue our quest and maybe somehow be indebted to you or or seek something out that may benefit you? Because I understand, as a man of business, you seek to find opportunity in any transaction. If you get my drift. Roll a persuasion check with advantage. I'll give you advantage on that explanation. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> uh, I got 12. Did you no, roll the game. Your, where's my persuasion? Did you roll twice? Yeah, you yeah, got to roll persuasion twice. Persuasion negotiation, whatever, whatever its equivalent is. It'll be one of your, your charisma skills. Uh, it's quite quite down one. here. So it'll be one of these ones here. Uh, persuasion plus five. All right, so you roll, you roll your e20 twice, take the higher number, and then add five. Shit, shit. My first one was four. What was my first roll? Twelve. Twelve. Twelve, Twelve. Was first roll. Twelve plus five is 17. seventeen. And then, yeah. so you roll it a second time and take the higher, and whichever one was higher. Uh, this one is a three. So yeah, <laughs> <it's a> seventeen. <laughs> uh, you watch as he as he ponders this concept. Well, I will tell you what I appreciate about your offer, and I will tell you what I do not quite believe in. Uh, a random boat just happens to be claiming, oh, we will stop all of the Hoglet attacks. Yes. Um, no, that seems a little far-fetched for me. However, I do like the idea of paying your way. I mean, I do have all of the wares you have downstairs in your boats. Um, we are looking for possible recruitees. What kind of services do you think you could provide to my crew and I? Before we get into that, I just wanted to just double check to see, you know, you guys are obviously in an airship, you're well-traveled, probably hear stories from all f- six corners. Oh, of, all kinds uh, of stories. Of, uh, of Midril. Uh, have you heard of a, a spot beneath a volcano named Bornea? Or Bornoa? Yeah. Oh, very, the frozen golems of Bornoa. Yes. Very inhospitable place. Until recently, because of us. I'm just wondering if you might have heard he anything. He is right. He is right in this effect. Well, I, as I myself have never actually traveled that far north, I cannot confirm nor deny these uh, comments. I've died once. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. You look quite lovely now. Lively. Oh, charmer. Yes. Um, <laughs> what is it that you seek? What is it that you really want? Of skill. Yeah, he wants skill? Yeah. You're well, really, I, when I picked up your ship, what I wanted was um, well, all of your free shit. <laughs> but uh, since your lovely compatriot here that has uh, decided to speak upon himself for your group has offered your services, I am asking what you have to offer. Well, here's the thing. Let's, let's, let's cut to brass tacks, uh, Jacques Do. Um Pirates? Brass what? Brass tax. Okay. I thought you said something else. Pirates... You're not very good at hiding the fact that you're pirates. You know, with the look, with the with the earrings, and all. I'm in the sky. Why do I have to hide from a pirate? Well, I mean, there's certain things that pirates can can't access that others that maybe unassuming travelers can. Perhaps you need ambassadors, you know, uh, ambassadors, or some sort of discreet burglars to get you an item that you've been wanting for some time. I know there's precious items throughout Mid Mid Midril. Is that yeah. where we live? <laughs> yeah, Midril. That a, f- a man of your, you know, fine te- taste, and I gesture to the room. It is rather lavish room. And, and, and I know <laughs> that, you know, being, being a, a person of servitude, that status, with, with great items comes great status. And, you know, I, no offense to your greatness, Jacto, but this is the first time I've ever heard of you as a pirate. And I've heard of some pirates. I, uh, I, I pick up something uh, innocuous off of the furniture within the, the, uh, the cabin and... Do some sleight of hand trick with it while signaling in thieves can't. But I have some skills. <laughs> Yo, suddenly everybody fucking knows okay. thieves can't. <laughs> hey, so you go up and just grab a random item in yeah. his in his uh, in his room. Is that what you said? <laughs> yeah. Why don't you just get out of the house? Not 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 taking it, just handling it. Obviously. <laughs> Obviously. Yeah. It's 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 meant for show. It's just like the finger. Okay. I, like I I make it disappear and then bring it right back <laughs> again. <laughs> Okay. Is there so? What is it that you're saying? Thieves can't. Just that I have skills as well. Ah. A, a specific set of skills. Kind of nods with like the this. expression of huh. Looks over at you, no one. Well, you are looking at no one. Oh God. <laughs> yeah. The greatest thief in the. You may have heard of 
Zangul's egg? If you haven't, it's because I stole it. I am who's, the greatest thief I, in Midrule. Who's I Zangul? I get the whole anything. point of, of being the greatest thief is that I would have heard of your fine thievery. I'm pretty sure his mom's name Zangul. Yeah. Ah, but that's the thing. Yeah. That's how good of a thief he is. No one's ever heard of the perfect crime. Hence, no one has ever heard yeah. of the greatest thief. It's true. My Which name means is, he's never heard of the greatest thief if his name is no one. My name may carry <laughs> weight, but it does not have any strings attached, so to speak. Huh. So is, is there uh, anything? What, is, what does your uh, pitch to me? I have a weird bird on my hand and a fish in my face. <laughs> That's all I got, buddy. Perfect ambassador. <laughs> <laughs> I'm completely unassuming. Just saying. I'm like a little on the chunky side, so people never expect that I have agility. It's good. I swallow the fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just slurp the tail. Just <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll my four. That right, was that. a long. I got pitch. one. I got Everybody one roll a persuasion check, except for no one and Ashlyn. You roll this at disadvantage. Fane, what'd you get? Um, sorry, this was uh, what throw? Uh, what save? Persuasion. Persuasion. It should I be a skill it. associated to your charisma. Character charisma, thank you. Uh, uh, yeah, okay, well. no, uh, it is 10. 10? Yeah. 12. 12, nice. <laughs> Even with disadvantage, 17. Nice. nice. Yeah. Are you All cheating? Right. What, I have like a loaded dice or something? No. no. Okay. I got nothing on that roll. Yeah. <laughs> All right. If you sincerely believe that you have things to offer my crew... I don't just take blind faith on any person's ship who I decide to uh, lay claim to. is just offering their services kindly. They are thieves. Mm. Yeah. So, here is my counterproposal. There is a couple of items that I do wish. One of the ways that we stay clear of these new Hoglin airship attacks is that we don't make birth in rather we don't advertise when we make birth at port so how do we restock we kind of take the items without them knowing so we are coming up on Artaka my recommendation is that if you are willing to uh, you now your boat doesn't belong to you is that correct Oh, yeah, I forgot That's about true. that. Oh, yeah, we rented the boat. Yeah, we stole it from that some guy. He was uh, a really nice no, we guy. we rented it. He'll be really yeah. mad. <laughs> oh, I've probably. I've myself. I have met him uh, in each of his, uh, his ports. So. Will you, will you give his boat back? Because he was nice. Oh, if, if I keep his boat, he will know. And mm. uh, I do not wish, wish to uh, piss off Chubb. Yeah. yeah. Trust me. Something about those nothing. cats. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't want to incur uh, his wrath. thing to worry about. Yeah. Uh, all right. Here's my counter proposal. If you are true in your intentions, of which you're willing to offer my crew, uh, then what we will do instead is you will take your boat and you will use it to go to Artaka and you will steal from me a laundry list of items without bringing any attention to my crew and my ship. If you return, all of you intact, and you also return Chubbs' boat, I will give you back all of your belongings, as well as having your own place upon my ship. Does this sound uh, agreeable to... Uh, I understand that you are now speaking as well for a member of your crew who is not here. Shh. We should probably go double yes. check with this him. Is what His we, armor seems quite lavish. I yeah. do believe that he may have some issues with your welcome induction into piracy. Ah, shit. Well, I forgot think... about that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really think we have a, How about we an do option here. Discuss it amongst yourselves. In one night's time, I will come up to you, and we should be in Artaka by then. I will inquire to you as to what your opinions are. If you wish to accept my offer, we will send you and your boat down to ride up the river channel to Artaka itself. Return Chubbs' boat and steal for us the laundry list of items that I will provide to you. Upon completion of your task, you will all be welcome aboard my ship. You can live with us, carry out more tasks aboard the ship without 
Pei, we will discuss continuing the relationship beyond this point upon your success or failure. If you fail or choose to, how do I say, fuck off <laughs> on your mission and use this as an opportunity to escape, during your mission, I will keep all of your belongings with me. I would like to see your ingenuity. If you can do this without your belongings, then you are clearly a cut above the rest. So if you leave, you will leave without any of your belongings and the personal disdain of my crew and I, and I will find you. Mm. So, does this sound like agreeable terms? Let's go talk to Mikhail. No. Give us the night. Nah. I don't think we should tell Mikhail. <laughs> I am I'm curious and I don't mean to say uh, that I'm not on board with a question but uh, you've offered us something very gracious except we just don't know what you need yet we need to know the full scope here yeah may we know the laundry list before agreeing to going I'm offering you the opportunity for me to not ravage your yourselves to take whatever I want from your vessel and off of your person and you are going to ask questions? It's more just wondering. <laughs> we can, we can what kind of job. food do you guys eat on this boat? We can handle it. Like okay. Is, I love food. Isn't getting ravaged, Rachel, to be honest. What if, yeah. Is there a way to keep this from Mikhail without him finding out? There's no way. Yeah. They're going to have to take away his stuff before he leaves. They're going to have to fucking kill him. No, no, no. <laughs> we'll what if we leave him, him here? Stay. We'll just ask him to stay and, and watch the boat. Nope. But we need, no, no, no but we need, a, we need to return the boat to Chubbs. That's part of the deal. He said yeah. we have to return the boat. He doesn't want to get uh, the ire of Chubbs either. Yeah. I uh, certainly not. His cats are kind of savage. Mm -hmm. They are. All right. All right I'll let you think on this. Let's you, go talk what, Do you have if, any more questions for me before I send you back yeah, to your friends? Yeah. What if you... Could you... Oh, could my you God. <laughs> no. Could you arrest Mikhail and put him in... The like, brig? Oh, be oh, be honest, I'm about to throw all of you into my break until you discuss Yeah, I this. think we should stop asking You are not my doubt. guests until you say yes. You are prisoners until you say well, yes. Well, but, but I'll be able to say yes if you take Mikhail prisoner and stop put him in the break. Stop being a wuss. Let's go talk to Mikhail. I'm not being a wuss. You totally are. Put him in prison so I don't have to deal with him. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's a great idea. Let's go talk to Mikhail. He'll <sighs> understand we need to do it for the greater good. So do we not get unshackled until we've decided, I guess? Of course not. You're going into the brig down below. Mm. Well, we got to go talk to Mikhail first. Oh, he's going to the brig with you. Oh, okay. Oh. He'll meet us there? I will have someone escort Okay, so he's oh. going to prison anyway. Oh. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. Oh. Meanwhile, go to the bed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Meanwhile. Have you decided to engage at all with these these guys that are going through all your guys' shite? Well, now that I rolled so low, they uh, they don't consider me a they're, threat. They're not very scary, no. No, man. So they're probably not paying much attention. <laughs> Maybe some some unarmed combat. Oh, <laughs> oh really? Yeah. No, you're that armed. One? Yeah, but if I pull a sword, they're gonna pull swords. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. It's it's actually. Oh, okay. So, what, so how do you how do you approach? Uh, is there one like? Are they, can they see each other? So how it how it works right now is you're in the cabin. Yourself. Yeah. God. The two armed guards that have their crossbows still up that have boarded to the deck itself are still on the primary deck. Yeah. There are two guys that have crossbows that aren't brand like they're they're in their hands, but they're using the other hand to kind of sift through stuff, looking through the saddlebags on the horses on the deck. Mm -hmm. um, and at some point in this, we'll enter the chamber that you are in, like the cabin area. Um, again, they're holding their crossbows, but they do not have them ready to fire when they enter. So they do they will at some point come close enough to you unless you wish to do something about it. No, I don't know what the. Well, being closer with uh, with a crossbow actually is my to my advantage. Yes. Um, how does um, um, rendering somebody unconscious or work in like if that is your intent? I'm not sure how unarmed combat. Like if I wanted to kill somebody, obviously I know how to yeah, do yeah. that. If I don't, so want to uh, so when you deal damage, you deal um, there's there is a category of damage to each time you attack. So if it's with a hammer, it's bludgeoning with with a sword, it's slashing or piercing, right? Uh, unless you have a feat, otherwise hand to hand combat is considered what's called non lethal damage. If you bring them to zero HP with non lethal damage, they will be considered unconscious and not dead. What? And that's for NPCs. With players, even piercing damage getting you to zero 
renders you unconscious unless certain events transpire to be instant death. So that's the best way to do that. Um, if you were alone with an individual and it was a grapple check, then we'd roll to, to if we grapple them for long enough. That I mean, it, it's not uncommon or impossible to knock somebody out with a punch. I mean, I could do it to Matt if I wanted to. Do it, do it right now. Yeah, if you roll a cri- <laughs> if you roll a critical, oh, and well. you and you deal enough money. damage that I got brings twenty them bucks to zero as an NPC, yeah, you'll knock them the frick out. Oh but. wait, no, it's Nerd Brand is twenty bucks. Never mind. Yeah, um, you should buy fives with that. <laughs> okay, I'll do that tomorrow. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, just rendering rendering any two, human two being you wish five. unconscious with a single punch, punch is very movie, but not actually how. Really, I boxed for a while. <laughs> And you can consistently look at ten people and say, two, four, six, and eight will get knocked out with a single punch. No. <laughs> exactly. So you can, yeah. it's just not guaranteed. Fair enough. Yeah. Um, AKA, okay, he's trying to so, tell you it's not a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> I well, mean, I'm not there. I'm trying to tell you, help. you could do whatever you'd like, but it's not guaranteed the outcome you wish. So kind they're both, like, like they're, in, they're both in the same room, but in a different room than I am? No, the cabin is just one room. Oh, it's one big yeah, room. Yeah, you guys have been it's bunking big, up together. Big, like it's it, this is not exactly this is not a lavish boat you've been using. So it's it's like you know, fishing boats where there's the deck and then there's like the one little hatch guessing, where you'd sit. It's basically that but larger. I'm guessing combat with two people is at a disadvantage. It disadvantage in the sense that there are two people. But yeah. you don't roll at disadvantage, depending on what you do. But they'd be able to flank them pretty easy, eh? Yes, yeah, that's got- that's what the disadvantage. The disadvantage comes in the physical scenario. You don't roll a disadvantage. You just are one versus two. Uh, I'm just trying to think how to do this. Mm-hmm. Now you got plenty of time to think on it while they're sifting through your stuff. However, they're not going to stay in the cabin the whole time. So you no. only have a little bit of time to think about what you want to do until they leave the cabin. The objective is to. Knock them both out or incapacitate them both mm-hmm. uh, in some way, shape, or form. Uh, now, there's no like. They finish looking through Titus's bag, they move on to Ashland's clubs bag. Clubs or anything like that. Anything of a, a club like nature. You have your own weapons. Yeah, but they're all very sharp. <laughs> um, you can you can choose to deal non lethal. So basically, if you want to hit them with like the blunt end of your sword, like with the butt, like the hilt or of the your sword, butt of a hand axe, it would it wouldn't deal hand axe damage, but it will be more than what your fists can straight up do. It would be like a D four non lethal damage. How about my shield? Would also D four non lethal, but yeah, you can do that too, and you'd add your strength to it. They finish looking through Ashland's bag. They yeah, right, let's Stephane's. go for it. We're gonna we're gonna go for it. Okay, so you're gonna go up to the, first, to the closest guy and try to bash him in your shield. Yeah, we're gonna knock him out. Okay, roll <laughs> roll an attack. <laughs> yes, he cracks his head open. Yeah, it's it's a plus three, so I just rolled a nine. Nine. So you grab your shield, and as you push up to go and push the one guy uh, who is currently back to you. Just goalpost right there for you to hit. And, uh, you're going to knock him prone as he's looking into Stefane's bag. The second guy kind of kicks you in mid-charge and knocks you down on the ground and stops your your attack. And he puts up his crossbow to you. Be like, oi! What, what's the, what are you thinking? <laughs> I think he sticks it <laughs> How far away is he? Oh, this guy that just... Yeah, just the one you... with the crossbow pointed at me. Oh, what did he's, you roll? He's, right, he's right in front of you. What did you roll? A six. Oh, no wonder. <laughs> I was going to say. How much? Not high. You, get, you need new dice, buddy. <laughs> they were working for him for a while. Yeah. The second guy, having been startled, goes back to inspecting Stefan's bag. Yeah, we'll go up for the guy pointing the crossbow at me. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, like with my shield right there at his <laughs> no, crossbow. No, I didn't, no, I didn't like, understand. Okay, before you do... <laughs> Because he has a weapon on you, I want you to roll, uh, uh, basically, roll me an initiative. Ten. Ten? Okay, so he actually gets to go first. Okay, cool. I thought so he did, you, but like, hey. <laughs> so as you go to get up and attack again, he's going to just shoot All right. the crossbow at you. Because he's got the gun pointed at you. Oh, but that's nine doesn't hit you. No. So you, as you move and fires, it goes past your shoulder and into the floor itself. Uh, what are you gonna do? Um. Uh, 
Now let's use our hand axe, but we're going to use the butt end of it. Okay. Like the, the the heavy. It lands a club instead of yep. as an axe. So it'll be the same thing. Base attack bonus, D4, plus strength damage. All right. That's 20. Natural 20? Holy yeah. shit. Nice. So whatever, <laughs> whatever you roll in your die will be doubled so you times by two, and then you add your strength. That is a one. So two plus two, your strength. Five. Five total? Yeah, five total. Okay, cool. So you, take the, you go up and you smash him on the side. You watch as it, it hits him, and his eyes do the... Like he's seeing stars, and he, he's looking away, but he's not unconscious. Um, at this point, the second individual is going to get up and pull their crossbow. Now you're engaged with two, two people. He's going to roll initiative into the into the stack. He rolls really high. So, so this counts as an official full new round of initiative. Okay. So the first guy goes... Guy who was looking through Stefan's bag. Uh, does a 16 hit you? No. No? Okay, oh. so he fires and misses. The second guy. Where's my other d20? Does a 22 hit you? Yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that makes sense. 18 or higher hits me. Okay. He deals 5 points damage with those crossbow bolts. Yeah, he takes a turn to reload that puppy, doesn't he? He takes his movement too. He doesn't move to do so. And calls out for, uh, with the commotion, you can hear that the two outsiders are starting to come towards you. It's your turn. Um, where are these guys in relation to that door? Is that a swinging door or is it an open door? It's like an open door. There is no actual physical door. It's just a porthole. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> you, you didn't, like I said, this is not a lavish boat you were on. It's not <laughs> going to be a comfortable journey. Not comfortable. And then you got kidnapped. Yeah. Oh, hey, I probably should have gotten plus two to damage on... I uh, Before my dueling skill gives me plus two to damage with a one-handed weapon. Ah, okay. So instead of five, it was seven damage. Yes. So he's looking worse than initially, but still kind of barely standing. All right, let's finish him off. Ah! <laughs> All right, come on. Seven. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Plus five is 12. 12? Yeah. No. So you go and swing out at him again, and he kind of stumbles out of the way, and his buddy's uh, there, and he goes to hit you in the face with the back end of his uh, his crossbow. Uh, it's 13 is Okay. The guy who you hit is looking to come back at you. Uh, does, a, does a 19 hit you? Barely. All right. So he's dealing... Four points of damage to you. The butt end of his his crossbow. And the other two have now entered the fray and are pointing their guns at you at the doorway. I'm just rolling them to rolling for them to get into the initiative stack here. That's not much, man. There. Okay, cool. Um a new order starts. The one of the guys that just entered just yells at you to uh, stop or we'll fire. The one individual that's already been in the room that you haven't been kicking the crap out of uh, just goes to beat you like a with 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 a like a club with his crossbow. He's gonna just hit you with it. Uh, twenty-two. Yeah, okay. as we discussed, that does hit you. Five points damage. Non lethal. How the hell? I do like one or two points of damage, and they were doing like three, four times that. Uh, it was five. You rolled was it? one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they rolled not ones yet. And the guy who you have beaten the crap out of, he, he kind of he's stumbling around and he swings and not even close to you. And the last person at the door uh, also yells at you. He goes, "We will fire if you don't lay down your arms." I don't have. Oh yeah, I got a hand axe in my hand now. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jer- oh sorry, you go before the last guy. So Jer- go. All right, let's eleven plus. 5, 16. To the guy that you've already hit? Yeah. Uh, that does hit. All right. And it's 1d4? Yep. Plus your strength. Six. Six total? Yeah. Okay, so you go, you you beat him over the head with the back of your sword, and sure enough, poof, he drops down unconscious on the deck. Uh, the last guy who had entered the room, he Yells, doesn't, <laughs> yeah, he doesn't uh, <laughs> yell at you to stop. He just shoots at you. Uh, yeah, but that's going to miss you. So he misses. First guy that told you to stop is also going to shoot at you. Also, 
fucking misses. <laughs> the guy who <laughs> well, not rendered money. unconscious. Uh, also misses. What are you going <laughs> to We're going to go to we I get knocked out. I can't believe that just happened. Wow. All right. Ding. And we have rolled a 16. 16 yeah. on the guy that's that's next to you? Yeah. Yeah, that hits. For six points of damage. Six points of damage, yeah. so non-lethal again? Yeah. Okay, so when you smack him right in the, right in the nose, you hear a sickening crack. Uh, you, you hear a sickening crack, as you, you're pretty sure you just broke his nose. and uh, But he's still standing, and his blood begins pouring out of his nose. Get, get away, hang on. As a quick aside, while we're walking back, I'm like, to the team, I'm like, I feel really good about this. I think we're good. <laughs> oh, I wonder what Mikkel's up to. <laughs> Yeah, so it's like a dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I think this is a good conversation. <laughs> you guys are kind of being ushered into a jail cell. The guards are very calmly clink, clink. All right, so we'll go down and get their friend, and we'll bring their friend up here. That sounds good. All right, cool. And they leave. Nice smell of uh, galley food ushering into your noses. Mm. Meanwhile, you is get it shot with chips? a crossbow, I Mr. Fish and chips. <laughs> oh, did I? <laughs> yeah. Oh. That the last guy in the, the doorway in this initiative stack. Uh... Hits you for three points of damage. Oh, that's the end of this fight. The end zero? Yeah. All right. And so as you break the <laughs> nose of the other guy, you turn around to the door and a dart just, uh, just it just shoots you in the chest and you just drop and you are unconscious. As you guys are sitting there and you're in your jail cell and, you know, contemplating the offer that's been given to you by Jacques Toe, um, Mikhail, bloody and battered, <laughs> They open the gate and just, without any rhyme or reason or care to his, his carcass, they just throw <laughs> his, unca- his unconscious body into the jail cell. They spit at him. They close the gate. They lock it behind you. And they storm off. I gotta be honest. I kind of knew this was going to happen. So that went, <laughs> that went well, gang. <sighs> well, I guess we don't have to tell Mikhail then. Well, <laughs> hang on. <laughs> He's unconscious, right? He is unconscious. For Let's how do long? Stuff to him. I, no, no, I, <laughs> guys. Uh, actually, hang on. It's like roll a death saving throw, really quick. Not, not, not to, to see if you fail. I just want to see if you roll a nat twenty. You just wake up. Not twenty. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nineteen, which is a crit oh, hit for so the attack. Close. No, yeah. it, it, it's, it's, it's not an attack at all. Yeah. So you're yeah. Still not dead. dying, and you're still unconscious. Yeah. <laughs> um, hang on. I, I I look at Mikhail's body for a moment, and I'm and I'm contemplating. Uh, curing wounds, but before I do, I stop and I turn to the group. Wait a second. Wait a second. This is good. This was my idea! It's working! When did you say it? I said I said that is we shouldn't Mikhail tell Mikhail. Up? No, 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 no. We tell him, but we we basically spin the yarn that it's because of his actions that we have to do this now. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah. You see how we scum. <laughs> so, it's his fault we have to do yeah. this. Yeah. And you're unconscious, so you didn't hear shit. <laughs> you know nothing. I, uh, yeah, I agree with that. that I don't know. Like this feels way. pretty pretty, pretty scumbaggery. He just he, he could have jeopardized this deal. He we still don't know if he's just jeopardized this deal. Yeah. Okay, hang he on. He killed us all. We gotta look at the. We gotta look at the the larger situation here. We are shackled in a in a in a brig. We don't have much to work on here. Okay, let's take a vote. Oh my god! I'm not not (laughs) voting. I'm just saying yes. I'm just saying I'm doing. That is yes. That's a vote. That's a vote. God damn it! (laughs) And you're a yes. Yes. What do you say? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, I'll go along with it. Okay. Um, I do cure wounds. Uh, to uh, um, to Mikhail. Yeah. Uh, uh, any person touched one yeah. d8 spellcaster level of health. So just roll that real quick. Uh, the d8 spellcaster level is uh, three, so it'll be d8 which, plus three. Which one's the d8? This uh, the, the one with eight idea. sides. No, with eight sides. Well, yeah, but it was. Like, <laughs> okay, so it's seven plus three, so ten. So ten. Mikhail. So I'm, get, I'm rubbing his butt. <laughs> ten points back, and you <gasps> come back to consciousness with uh, Titus rubbing your butt. Hello. Well, so I hope friends. you're happy, Mikhail. I'm going to use my second wind. To do what? To add more health? Yeah. No. Well, okay, okay, real quick, pre roll that. Um, this jail cell will also be considered, if you rest here, it's considered a, a long rest. Which is so, why I want to do it now. Which will get all your health back. And it's also On a short long rest. rest. Oh, oh a, yeah, okay. Yeah, so so it, I should have used it, it in the fight. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I hope and you're happy, Mikhail. <laughs> 
I'm just shaking my head. Yeah, in the corner. we we just got uh, we just finished talking with the captain because of your stupid actions. Now we have to go steal some shit for these guys. It was going now, all well until you started beating. They were going to let us go, but now we got to steal shit because you've offended them. Yeah. I, everything that he is saying is the truth. If we're lucky, we'll get our stuff back at the end of this, but as it stands right now... Do you have anything to hooped. say for yourself? We're hooped. So, really quickly... How I'm excited. This is, Should uh, they have a bluff check? I was j- just let me <laughs> yeah. explain to you what's going to happen. <laughs> because you you started the conversation. Yeah. Titus, I, want I you have roll, persuasion. Yeah, roll a, roll a <laughs> bluff check with advantage because your team is helping. <laughs> <laughs> and then don't say it out loud. Okay. And Mikhail, roll an inside check. Please tell me you rolled a natural one. You wish. Nine. All right. Now, what did you roll? I rolled a 19 plus five. And that was with advantage? Um, with advantage, it's 24. No, no. You have to roll twice. You, did oh, you roll, roll twice? Because twi- so if you get, get a natural, natural one, you screw yourself. So nine and 19. Oh. Nine and no, if he's at advantage, yeah. the one doesn't no. count. But, but with my persuade, does, does persuasion no. add? No. Does persuasion get added? Yeah, it's just, oh, there's no deception. Okay. So, so just so the normal. add your charisma to it. So what's the My charisma? Okay. So 19 plus 22. 22. What was your insight there, Mikhail? Um, I rolled a nine. Nine. They are. They seem to be on the up and up. <laughs> All right. They. It seems like you have actually jeopardized the situation. <laughs> oh my god, that's, a, that's amazing. So, what do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> I thought we were in trouble. <sighs> Well, we are now. We are, we are now. Tell you right now. Yeah. Guys, we made us guys, thieves. <laughs> guys, don't be so hard on Mikhail. He, we got taken away and he was left alone. He could have killed us all. No. You so guys listen. would have been mad at me if it was me that did it. He still yeah. might. It's, it's, <laughs> yeah, because you do dumb shit all the time. Also, look, look, Mikhail, all of your items have been stripped from you. Yeah, Just, okay. I'm really happy. Tensions, that. tensions are high. Yeah. Tensions are high. Yeah. So we got to go Mikhail's to Mikhail's beat up. And we have we are going to Artaka. This is where the ship is going. As soon as we port, we have to get off and we have to get these items. And but it, we which is tomorrow. Fast. But it's not all bad. The captain has shown some leniency. He's told us that if we're able to do this for them, we essentially have gotten an, air, an airship. They'll take us to where we need to be to finish our quest. So while we do have to do some things that we all don't want to do, mm. there might be a light in the end of this. We get to be yeah. pirates. So, yeah. Yeah, we do get to be pirates. Yeah, he, he wouldn't like that. I do. <laughs> okay. Well, we sleep on it. I've always sleep wanted to go it. on an adventure. I don't think we get to sleep on it. I think we have to do it. So did one of these it. people offend you, Mikhail? Is that what happened? <laughs> no, I wanted an airship. <laughs> okay, well, we have an airship, kind of. <laughs> kind it's on of, lease. Yeah, we, <laughs> so we just have to go get these items now. Oh, and we, have to, and we have to take thingy's boat back. Cat man, cat dude. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's the first thing we got to do. Yeah. yeah. Okay. He seems scared of the guy with all the cats. Well, I guess we'll we'll have our our day's rest until we have to do it in the morning, and uh, and then we'll we'll tell him that we agree in the morning when he comes to get us. Sounds good. I don't think there's agreeing or not agreeing that's, if we're being forced to do it. That's that's literally what I've been saying since the beginning. That's what I said. <laughs> we still oh have to. God. We still have then to. Then why did you say in the morning? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's sure. what I'm saying. <laughs> and hopefully, looking at Mikhail, hopefully they'll show lenience. Yeah, hopefully. All right, I'm going to sleep. Thank you for listening to this Just the Gear Studios production in collaboration with McGuffin Media. Our next episode of Zing Dong will air Friday, April 12th. Tuesday, April 2nd, is the next episode of Spacers, our Starfinder actual playcast. And Tuesday, April 9th, is the next episode of The Call, our Call of Cthulhu actual playcast GM'd by Derek Snow. The game system used today was the D&D 5th edition by Wizards of the Coast. Music in this episode was provided by Matthew Chung, composer for Nirvana the Web Series. Sound effects and ambient tracks licensed through Triune Films, Video Copilot, and Sirenscape. For up-to-date content, please subscribe to the Twisted Gear Studios and McGuffin Media YouTube channels. All Twisted Gears podcasts are available on YouTube, Google Play, Apple Music, and Spotify. Please like and follow us on Facebook, as well as Twitter and Instagram at The Twisted Gear. Your players this evening were Mike Farrow, Tito Gillen, Ashley Lawrenson, Steve Reeve, and Matt Salem. Elizabeth Wells was your audio operator, and I was your host and GM, Zach Barrett. Have a good night, everyone, and we'll see you next time.